great honor and a, and a privilege for me to introduce the Canna family, Howard and Mitchell, as the winners this year of the Charles Evans Prize. The Canna's are like the perfect recipients of the Charles Evans Award. They've been a vendor and a supplier of the Estee Lauder Corporation. Three generations of running RK packaging. They've been around 100 years, the company. The Canna's also know firsthand too well the effects of Alzheimer's. So modern day photo album, I put together some pictures of mom. And look at that smile on her face. She's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful woman. Where was that taken? In the early stages of my marriage. She was 25 or 26 look, years old. Looks like the Hamptons somewhere. This is my wife boxing. It's a great picture because it really describes who she was as a person. She was a fighter. My first date with Sherry, when I took her out, I took her dancing. She was a strong lady and she was absolutely enthralled with the fact that she met somebody who could dance as well. On the third date, I said to my friend, that's the lady I'm gonna marry. She had an infectious laugh, she had a beautiful smile, very gracious, and she was both interesting and interested. As a great ballroom dancer, everything just flowed so effortlessly. The thing that really stands out about my mom is she was always learning something new. She studied graphology. She took Russian classes before a trip to Russia. She got a degree in interior design. She was a great athlete. She was a lovely woman, loved her. We skied together. We were friends, friends, friends. My grandma always looked her best. She always had great style. She knew what looked good in homes. As a team, my mom and dad together were unstoppable whether it was traveling together, all sorts of kind of exciting trips. I've been a pilot all my life. She flew all over the United States, Canada, and, and the Caribbean with me, and that was a very exciting part of my life. My mom was always very, very sharp, and you couldn't pass anything past her. She actually said it, which is what was kind of crazy. She said, I'm losing my mind. And at first, I really didn't you know, I thought, you know, we just kind of use that expression, I'm, I'm losing my mind, but she really sensed that she wasn't the same person. And that was uh, scary and also a bit of denial for the family, for friends. She went to some brain doctors to take a look and they thought she might have um, water on the brain. But because of my dad's love for her, he said, that's not an answer, we have to keep looking. It's kind of amusing now in, the, in that sense that the doctors were so backward in terms of knowledge about the mind, but when you don't know anything, you make suppositions, and uh, uh, that's what I live with, suppositions. Because we were such dear friends, I was able to introduce them to Dr. Howard Phillip, who is the founding director, and nothing less than a great genius. And that's how the process started, how we were introduced uh, to the doctor, as well as how we were introduced to Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation. I was able to help in, in terms of actually making a diagnosis and then really helping the family to care for Jerry as she progressed through the various stages of the illness. And Howard absolutely insisted on caring for her and he did so, so lovingly and so intensely over her years of suffering and decline. I think music was really important to my grandma in the later stages of her life because kind of all of her short-term memory kind of was going away, so that was one thing that really stuck with her. We were sitting around the dinner table and she was singing along with the songs that were playing and she was laughing and smiling and she stayed up so far beyond the time she would normally ask to go to bed. It was such a treat to have a little part of her back. Anything that brings them back is just magical. That's all I can say it was magical. My dad being my number one mentor and best friend, Leonard Lauder has always been probably number two on the list of mentors. When I heard also that both Ronald and Leonard were basically funding all of the back office expenses of a philanthropic effort and that all the money that was being raised was going to help support ways to slow down, prevent, cure this horrible disease called Alzheimer's. I said, you know, how do I get more involved? I kind of, I went pretty big for me, which was fun as I had a band called the Young Presidents at the time. 
we put together an event. One of my proudest moments was being able to have, again, lunch with Leonard and hand him a check for the money that we raised for the evening. Very proud to say that Mitchell has joined our Board of Overseers and will carry on the, uh, the, the flag of the Canna family in, in supporting ADDF. Knowing that we were connected with an organization and people who are at the forefront of fighting this terrible disease is invaluable. ADDF looked look to me like hope. I'm very pleased with with what everyone is doing uh, for the organization and being involved in the organization. I've seen actual progress, real progress. Here's to Howard Caniff and Mitchell Caniff. This is a well-deserved honor. Congratulations to you both. Their dedication and hard work to ADDF is inspiring. I can see a day when we will be able to free other families from going through this excruciating journey, and I am so very proud of the work they do. Howard and Mitchell Cadiff, if it wasn't for your continued support, we wouldn't be able to be here today talking so positively and optimistically about the cure for Alzheimer's. Thank you all. Here's to you, Howard and Mitchell. You make the ADDF and the world at large a much better place. It is greatly deserved and your work in this area has been truly remarkable. We thank you for your ongoing support to the ADDF Foundation. I'm so very proud to be part of your team. Mitchell and Howard, I'm so honored to be part of this beautiful family. I'm so proud of you both. Mitchell, I love you dearly and congratulations. Congrats, Dad. Congrats, Grandpa. I'm so happy for both of you and I'm so happy to be here to celebrate with you. And I really appreciate everything you've done for Grandma Cherry and everyone else struggling with Alzheimer's. You've been enormous help to us and we're very grateful to, to you both for, um, for working with us over these many years. And we, we look forward, I hope, to many more years of, of working together. I'm incredibly honored, as I know my father is, to accept the Charles Evans Award for 2021. I want to thank ADDF, Leonard and Ronald Lauder for uh, this wonderful award. Uh, but more importantly, thank you for um, recognizing us as we continue to fight as a collective community uh, this horrible uh, disease.